In this game, I go 29 and 8 with a perfect tracker score of 1000 against all Immortal 3s. Let's break down the thought process behind how I made it happen. <laughs> So in this particular game, I start off attacking and end the half going 24 and 6. It's a bit of a carry. At first, I go with my usual ghost and smoke buy, but since I see that two of my teammates are AFK, I quickly sell and go with the sheriff instead. If I'm going to have to take it slow and work some picks, the hand cannon is going to be the gun for the job. If I had to be completely honest, at first I thought it was going to be a remake, so if I'm going to get a free round, I may as well do some aim training. I pretty much start off the round just isolating different angles mid, just kind of just daring somebody to peek me. My Omen makes a really good suggestion here. After we get an early pick on B main, we decide to slow down and work mid. I really like this call because say a defender dies early B main for example, it causes a ripple effect of early rotates. But something to keep in mind is that they're going to be rotating ASAP, and we weren't really in the position to hit it together fast. So by working mid, we can punish the defense that's going to get softened up by that said ripple effect. Down. As I'm getting the spike down, I hear this twerp breaking the door. The second I hear that he's gonna reload, I use that window to post up on an aggressive angle and let him just walk into my crosshair. Someone hold up down. Fuck it. Three of us are holding this hold. I got some pretty sick teammates this go around. If you've ever had the misfortune of swinging into three different people holding you like this, just post it up. You have better odds of winning the Powerball than winning that 3v1. I like this play because rather than giving them a chance to isolate different 1v1s, here you just force the 3v1. So with that we end up winning a really crucial pistol round. Going into the next one, I make sure I have two smokes in my inventory. Splitting A. <clears throat> I'm taking it slow here because I want to get a feel for what the enemy team is doing. I don't want to show our hand too early because a lot of times teams cook up some good counter strats which can be deadly, especially since they got a KO on their team. By contacting up to the entrance, then exploding at the very end, we minimize the time that they have to rotate and react by a great deal. I toss a really aggressive one way with my jet smoke and then jump up to try to isolate a quick 1v1 and get the KO lacking with his pants down. Oh. Oh. No One enemy remaining. Long. Oh, yeah, they 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 just go B. <clears throat> there we go. Take up. And yet again, just like the previous round, I just want to contact up, not really show our hand until we decide to explode. I have flash here. Just contact up and not flash. As I dash in and close the market door, I just hold for people walking out of the spawn smoke to help cover my teammates who are scaling in. In this case, I got three dudes going land, so I entrust clearing sight to those guys. Who's one? So unluckily my teammates get caught out of position and we drop into a 3v4. As soon as I process that fact, I instantly try to equalize and I try to go for a cheeky pick and end up taking out the Sova. After that, I back up because we're in a 3v3 now, it's really up to those guys to make something happen. I see on the minimap that Brimstone is towards the spawn, I see a really strong opportunity to hold a really strong off angle on him that can catch him off guard because the last time they saw me was walking back towards site. He jiggles for information, so I instantly strafe out and change my angle so I can corrupt his crosshair placement, and then I end up winning the gunfight. Little small mechanics like this go a long way. If I stay at the angle that he last saw me in, all he has to do is just line up his crosser and wide swing me and use peeker's advantage. So by me just moving a little bit, I disrupt that because he's going to be forced to auto-correct his crosser placement. That little small fraction of a second is more than enough for me to get that frag. Going into the next round, we're trying to keep the same game plan of just playing it slow, trying to see what they're doing, but I get wide swung and destroyed by the jet. Luckily my teammates go crazy and they split B and we end up winning the round. Enemy nice. Nice. Still. Going into the next round, we decide to switch up the pace since the past four rounds have been mostly a slow burn. This time, we're gonna run it down and blow on them hard. We're 
I'm not in melee. Like TV news. They could flank if they push or spawn. Enemy kill. And just like that, we go 5 0. As I'm entering, I like updrafting and dashing into my own smoke because if somebody sees me, I can just dash away safely. It's a little bit risky, but I personally love the trade off because I can get quick glimpses of information before I dash in head first. Sometimes I can see people shooting darts, repositioning, and it just makes my life all the easier. As I dash into my smoke, notice how I wait a couple heartbeats before I run out. That's because I'm waiting for my Soba dart to fully scan and process before I walk out. Patience always pays off because the last thing that I want is for one guy to luckily get his because I didn't wait long enough for him to get pinged. After that, I just hard hold for people swinging from heaven because I have a really strong off angle on it. I dodge the Silver Dart and the KO Flash and punish the KO who's trying to foolishly make a hero play. Enemy kill. I'm sure that's okay. We're playing in Jeopardy. Oh, yeah. Weird. Oh, I can't find it. Ah, 120, bro. <laughs> You're gonna talk to I have this bike. Give me those back. <laughs> One enemy remaining. Oh, Not in after those three picks, this server has a bright idea to dry element, but he actually takes me out, but he just gets traded by my Reyna instantly, so we win the round. As I'm working mid, their KO takes a fight, so as soon as I hear him fighting my teammate, I dash in to help him out. After I take the toaster out, I know the brimstone is somewhere middle because he shot the dart earlier. So I smoke the omen smoke because he's going to cloud up the vision and give me some space to work with, and I try to clear him out because he's practically a sitting duck at the moment. Since I didn't catch a glimpse of him towards the market or anything, I instantly slow down just to wait the smoke out to make sure I I can freely clear the left side and there he is. After the pick on the brimstone, my experience tells me to be ready for someone to be in the close vicinity. It's only proper to try to trade or for at the very least someone to be on their way to help their brimstone who was in need towards middle. I get pinged by the alarm bot and use it to bait out a peek to sit the KJ down. One enemy remaining. Oh, nice, <laughs> you want to just flood sight from lane? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'll just, just fly out. My pathing was really cool this round, and I would have put us in a great position to win the round if I wasn't such a piss baby and lost this gunfight. The reason why I'm switching it up and dashing on top of this platform is because it's a really strong off angle to take fights on the staircase. And on top of that, twice in a row already, I've dashed out to switch and just to close a door. The last thing I want to do is be predictable and have like a nade placed there that completely destroys me, so I want to be able to switch it up. On top of that, my omen gets floating one tap by the jet, so we were destined to lose this round no matter what. Since I'm still a big fan of just taking it slow and working the map since they have a lot of info characters, I'm back to working mid. The plan is to deny as much information as possible and just push them off important areas of the map. My two teammates get pushed and taken out towards B main, so since now that we're in a 3v5, I just hold for somebody to get cocky and overheat. I'm smoked off man. That was those two picks, we end up in a 2v2, and my teammates play perfectly and close it out, putting us up 7 1. Going into the next round, we're right back at it, just working middle. I love updrafting on top of this box because it's a perfect example on how you can take fights towards mid even if they're smoking it off and trying to contest it. This round's a perfect example on why it's so strong they just work for mid control. Wait again. Wait, B should be free. Both, that's both of them marked up main. After we get those two picks towards his B side, I call for us to go back towards A because they're probably going to be rotating towards B by now. Our teammate lurked up A also, so it really just made the call easier. One enemy Ooh. remaining. As my teammates are all taking the A side, I double back towards Cat because I want to have a strong foothold on the map just to make it harder for the enemy team, and I get an easy one tap on this dude. Dinks. One HP on save. Dinks. Oh, he's fucking <laughs> 
Oh my god. Since we're struggling to contain us towards the middle, I'm right back at it. Having a good mid default leaves you open to tons of different audibles and fast rotates, making it a nightmare to try to predict you. And being unpredictable is one of the best things you can be in Valorant. Shoot, bro. 80 brim, 80 sub, I believe. Who's your brim's right side? Third's down. Oh, my ult's ready. Jet push B, man. Right side, where goes. Molly. One enemy remaining. This Brimstone made a huge misplay trying to spam where you heard my gunshots from. After I get the pick on him, Earlier, the Sobo Dart saw two people towards market, so I jump on top of the little bench and then just hold for any reswings, and then I catch the Sobo lacking. Oh, oh. Can all be? Let's do it. So right here, my teammates are planning on using the Killjoy Ultimate towards B. So since we're not going to be going out instantly, I decided to use my daggers and try to take a quick fight towards Cat by updrafting middle. Nice. Oh, oh. So it's not really sick. After whiffing on the Sova because I'm an ugly piss baby, my teammates close it out for us. Going into the next round, since we have plenty of money to spare, I buy an operator and I still plan on contesting middle. The Brimstone is desperately trying to stop us from taking their middle, which isn't the wrong idea. His biggest misgiving is the fact that he's doing it alone. It's incredibly hard to stop mid pushes by yourself. You're gonna need some sort of help unless you have an operator. After that pick, I play it kind of safe and just commit to holding for the B push. This is because the enemy team has been known to consistently challenge and just push B main. So since I know that, I hold and I get an easy pick from it. After that, I hear the Silva using his ultimate to respawn, so I just updraft just to try to get a free pick from it. Okay, half, I guess. Could've done better. <laughs> Going into defending pistol round, I buy a ghost and a smoke. I play towards B this round because my Reyna is AFK currently. So I want to keep each site and even two in case they want to rush. Wait, at least. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of rotate. They end up going towards A, so I quickly rotate to help out, but not before taking a quick peek towards B main in case they're trying to run a fake or somebody's lurking and playing off my Sova's audio cues. Sometimes people hear people rotating and then they walk out using that, and it allows you to get some free picks. About to, but I want to clip train. Cover going out. I'm blind. Stop. Hurry up, son. One down. What the fuck is happening? Spike planted. Just so slow. Shadows traveling. Revealing area. Well, I do. I do. I do. Enemy remaining. This one. Right here, I'm taking my sweet time clearing every single angle towards Cat until that I see that my omen flash. So since I want to capitalize and make sure that flash isn't wasted, I instantly go to try to take out the guy whose sight who got blinded from it. After that, we want to make sure that we retake B together. So I toss a smoke right here to help us cross. After we clear all the close angles, I want to make sure that we can tap the spike early to force these guys into peeking and showing themselves. These guys have no reason to peek right here. Time can do all the work for them. So we gotta give them a reason to peek, and we can do that by tapping the spike. As soon as I do that, this brimstone peeks, and then we just close it out from there. One enemy remaining. This one. Going into the next round right out of pistol, we kinda troll a little bit and have a little bit fun, and we get destroyed. We should just stack inside and we fucking nobody, buy so. I'll put my turret up though. We can just silence that dude. Just gamble. So going into the anti eco, I want to do a silent stack, which just means that we all find places to hide and we just wait until they're hitting before we show that we're stacked. I want to show zero utility to lure them into a false sense of security. Never mind. Smoke it. Shadows traveling. One enemy remaining. Is he outside? Don't know. He was earlier. Was no, 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 he was blind. He was blind. He went back mate and killed me. No, blind, 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 blind. Oh, shadows. Fifty-nine. 
Nice. So I peek right as they're running out of AMA because a lot of times people turn to clear those close corners and I use that timing to just pop them in the side of the head. After that, since we have Bomb, I'm pretty much just playing it really safe and just forcing the Sova to try to overextend. He uses a drone and since he tags my teammate really fast, I spam the angle because I expect him to swing out to try to spam my teammate through smoke. And that's how you pretty much drop a 30 bomb. I know it's a clickbait, but come on. Come on, give me that. This is one kill, let me round up. Please, don't bully me. Here's today's code word for a chance of free coaching. Make sure to leave it down in the comments below.